Hey there, it's Farmer Brad, and I need to give you an update. Uh, if you are follow us over on Instagram, you might have seen a video where our zero turn radius mower had a glowing pulley that was attached to the engine. Well, since that video, the engine seized up and would not start, would not move. Um, so fast forward, probably about a month, myself and our oldest child uh, ended up doing a lot of uh, push mowing. And friends of ours, uh, they ended up giving us a self-propelled push mower. Um, we kind of lucked out and in the fall, there's less rain, so the grass wasn't going as much. So we were kind of able to manage with push mower. Well, what ended up happening was I was able to sell this uh, broken lawnmower for 750 bucks. Guy wanted it for parts, and I felt like that was really good top dollar for that. So let me show you where we are today. So long story short, uh, there was an incredible sale at Tractor Supply. I definitely recommend uh, becoming a rewards member. If I wasn't a rewards member, I would not have gotten the 10% off discount. Uh, so that really brought this lawnmower down to a reasonable level. This lawnmower here is made for four acres. The previous lawnmower was made for one acre that I would mow three acres with. So this is a lot better built. Um, and you might notice it's yellow. So I am giving Cub Cadet another another chance, but I have, I have a little issue. The issue that I have with this mower right here, this is the 54 inch uh, Ultima ZT1, is that it retails for $37.99. $3,799. And when you run machines like this, they don't measure in miles like an odometer. They measure in hours. But guess what's missing from this lawnmower? An hours meter. An hours meter. So Cub Cadet decided to make an hour meter kit that is an add-on price to a $3,700 dollar lawnmower why if a, if a customer is spending that much money on a zero turn race mower how much money does Cub Cadet save by omitting this feature and the thing is is an hours meter you kind of need to put it on as soon as you get the vehicle in order for it to be accurate now I, I, I did probably a couple hours of mowing with this, uh, but I'm going to make a video to show how to install this. If someone from Cub Cadet could explain to me, uh, I'm currently in an MBA class, managerial accounting, so I know that there's business decisions uh, that are decided in, in, in conference, conference rooms and stuff that make business sense, but I do not understand how this is a major cost savings to not include it as a default. Let's get into it. Uh, I'll show you how I'm going to install this and get it working. So let me first unbox this and show you what's included in the hour meter kit. Here's the hour meter. And here are, it's probably, th this is the one that will we'll need for our setup but that's that's pretty much it and then there's instructions okay so I have this Irwin 9-in-1 uh, tool and that has the right size to remove these And this comes off the back. And then this allows you to access the underneath side. So what you need to do is 
the disconnect. Carefully di disconnect these plugs. And then the key holder comes out. So what I did was I just squeezed on that and that came out and I'm gonna keep it in the correct orientation if I can. Uh, disconnect the bottom part. And then There we go. Now this one had like four pinchers on both sides. So that one was a little trickier. And then this is a, a plug. So this is where it connects into. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and peel this sticker off. And then that frees this up so I can pop this plug out of it, like so. Now what I'm gonna do is plug these back in here so I can get an idea of the orientation of which way the hour meter needs to in there so have it like that and then I turn it on I could have sworn that when I turned it on it said oh it's the voltage 12.3 volts and then zero Okay, so it needs to be oriented like, like so. Okay. So I'll go ahead and place that there. Now in the instructions, if you have the steering wheel zero turn tractor, you'll use this sticker. If you have the lap bar zero turn tractor, you'll use this one. So this is the one that I have. So that dirt line I used as a guide, and now I'm kind of just working my way down. So I got it a little bit off. But it's not too bad and hopefully this will be okay.
There we go. So they definitely left me some leeway with that. So now I just need to connect these back up. And it's pretty much one size fits all. Double check. I put it in the right. Yep. Put it in the right direction. Okay, so that does work. So in summary, was the install of the hours meter easy? Yes, but it should be completely unnecessary because this lawnmower should include that from the factory. This has been another video by Farmer Brad. Make sure to like and subscribe uh, for more homesteading content. Uh, so until next time, take care. And now is always a great time to homestead. <laughs>